What's up guys, it's your boy King Alan Alexander on all social medias, A-Dub Productions in the house. What's up, Dub Nation? Back again, fresh off vacation with another video, guys. Before we get started, if you like this thumbnail, if you like what this video is about, if you like what this video is about to be about, stop right now, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, comment in the comment section, let me know what you guys think while I'm going through this crazy design. We're gonna be doing this design that I made for a client. Yes, that's right, I made it for a client. You guys are starting to hit me up on Facebook at facebook.com backslash King A Dub, like that page. Facebook.com backslash A Dub Productions, like that page. And you guys are also hitting me up on Instagram. My Instagram is King Allen Alexander, King A L L A N Alexander. King Allen Alexander, go follow me there, guys. You guys are hitting me up, and I'm starting to digitize designs for you guys. I never thought that I'd be digitizing designs. This is just like one of those things where you start doing something, and it's like, oops, I stumbled upon another stream of revenue and that ha that's what happens guys so um, I encourage you if you haven't picked up your brother SE 600 yet go ahead and use the description go down to the description section click on that Amazon link and purchase your machine and follow along with me and make these designs you can make some of these designs yourself if you don't want to purchase the digitizing software I guess I'm, I'm digitizing now so uh, hit me up on any of my social medias send me a high definition, high resolution file of your of your uh, illustration, your drawing, whatever you got, and I'll try my best to digitize it for you guys at a minimum small donational fee. So uh, let's jump straight into this design, guys. Let's jump into it, let's go. So guys, we got the design loaded up in the machine right here. You see it says it's gonna take 26 minutes to stitch out the whole design. That's not including the time that it takes to switch out the thread. And real quick, shout out to Brooklyn Blood. Shout out to Brooklyn Blood. He's the customer of the month because he's been hitting me up to do many different uh, tasks on social media for his embroidery needs. So shouts out to you. Um, so we're about to start stitching this design. And once again, this is the first time that I'm stitching out the whole entire thing, guys. So I got my fingers crossed and hope that everything goes right. Um, in this design, I just stitched out part of it to make sure that it was uh, good before I uh, sent it off to uh, the customer. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and put in the uh, thread. Because I, I noticed I didn't thread it up yet. So let's go ahead and thread this uh, Brother SE600. And once again, if you don't have a Brother SE600 and you're looking to purchase one, please use my link in the description down below to purchase your machine. It'll help the channel out a lot. Greatly appreciate it. And you pay the same price. I get a percentage. And once again, it helps the channel out a lot. I got videos on how to thread this thing. If you want to learn how to thread it and how to use it, check out my playlist, How to Make Money Embroidering and it shows you everything you need to know on how to use this machine guys so uh this design right here right this design is a complex type of design um so if you want your i guess it's a new service that i offer that i didn't plan on offering but people are hitting me up to do it so i guess i do it now i guess i officially do digitizing now because a lot of people are starting to hit me up and, hey, can you digitize my logo? Can you digitize my logo? So I'm digitizing logos now. So if you need your logo digitized for your brother SE600, don't feel like buying the, um, the uh, embroidery program, then hit me up on my Facebook at um, facebook.com backslash kingadub or facebook.com backslash Productions or on Instagram at kingalanalexander. Once again, Instagram at King Alan Alexander, and I will digitize your logo for you. Because that's apparently a service that I offer now <laughs> that I didn't plan on offering, but God is good. So this 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 specific design right here, right, guys? So this design um, was given to me by uh, Brooklyn Blood. Shouts out to him once again. And um, I actually, did an alteration to this design initially. He hired me to do an alteration to this design so he can send it to another YouTuber, which shall, by the way, go unnamed because it's all love out here, no hate at all. So um, 
I actually watch this guy, very popular YouTuber. Some of you guys might watch him also, but once again, like I said, his name shall not be named. Uh, but um, he sent the design that I didn't Photoshop, the retouch that I didn't Photoshop to the guy to get digitized. The guy digitized the logo, or girl, digitized the logo and sent it over. And when he was stitching it out, he was having problems. He was having problems um, with the design, stitching it out and getting a good clean stitch. So I was curious and I said, hey man, send me over the design. Send me over the, 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 the digitized design that the guy sent you or the girl sent you so I can see what it looks like. And it looked very, very clean when I, when I looked at it, but immediately I knew exactly who the, who the person was that uh, digitized the file for him. Charged him a good rate but he couldn't stitch out the file because for whatever reason, I don't know. I, see, when, when I digitize designs, I not only digitize the design, but I also stitch one out to make sure it's gonna stitch good for my client. So I guess maybe that might've been a problem. Maybe maybe the person didn't stitch out the design to check, out, check it out before he sent it. But um, when, when uh, Brooklyn Blood was stitching out the design, it looked sloppy and it was unusable to sell to, to, to clients. So um, he hired us, Dub Nation, he hired us to clean it up. And this is the cleanup, basically. So you guys are witnessing the cleanup and um, what we had to do to it to make it fresh and clean and something, a product that could be sold. So uh, first satisfied customer and um, hopefully many, many more guys. So Brooklyn Blood, if you're watching this video, please comment, tap the camera, in the comment section down below so people know where they can purchase your design from because it is his design and he's the one that's gonna be selling it, guys. So, um, you know, this is just, uh, I just want to give him a shout out and tell him I appreciate his business because he patronized um, on several different occasions. Um, during this month, so uh, and I, I greatly appreciate it. So now we should jump from here to over there, and we're going to do a cut. I'm gonna stop, and I'm doing this not just so you guys can see it, but also so he could see it and see how I'm doing it, you know. And like I said, this is my first time actually doing this, so you know, I want to show him how I'm doing it so that you know he doesn't have any problems. And I don't do this for everybody, but you know, I appreciate his business and he's a cool guy. So uh, I just wanted to show him that it is doable. And like I said, it's my first time doing it, stitching it out. So I actually got my fingers crossed and I hope that it is in fact doable and I don't run into any complications or else I'll have to adjust the design and send it back out to him, which I have no problem with doing. All right, so um, that part is done which it shouldn't be because there should be another part down below that should um, have to be done right now. Actually, it is the same part. It's just that the machine, I accidentally programmed a different color on the screen for this, but it's actually the same, um, should be the same color. So uh, I got to tell him that. Um, hopefully he's watching the video and you know that that's the same color. So don't switch colors on this part. So I'm just going to start right now. Um, actually, I'm going to swipe to release the thread and then I'm going to put the lever back down and push the button again so it can start. This is the bottom part of the cache. The guy is holding cache in his hand, so it's the bottom part of that. Boom. Move over it a bit. Another part, cache. Now we're gonna do our red layer. We're gonna switch the thread, guys. We're gonna switch the thread, and I'm doing this all in one take, maybe. I don't know. This will be a 26 minute video. I think I could do it all in one take, guys. So, boom. This is what I normally do, this is how I do it. Boom, boom, boom. 
load up the thread. Boom, boom. Actually, I'm not gonna do this in one take, because I'm not gonna make this video super, super, super duper long. You gotta see how I do it, though. Let's see how I do this with no effort. Boom. And there we go with the red part. Stitching out the hand that's gonna be holding the money. Oh yeah, this thing is looking official. Definitely looking official. Definitely looking official so far. Very clean design. Stitching out the arm part. And guys, when you start digitizing, you're gonna notice different things that you can do to, um, to make your design make sense, so to speak. And one of those things is, I'm gonna stop it right here so that I can trim these edges. One of those things is, when you have multiple colors, you're gonna wanna um, stitch them in a way that doesn't make, that it, that it makes sense. And I mean, what I mean by that is, like, if you have, say for example, in this design, I have three different colors or four different colors, right? You don't wanna have to change a thread five and six different times. So when you're digitizing your logos, you want to actually stitch like like right now I have I have all the, the red thread in. So I want every part of that design that's red to stitch out when I have the red thread in. You know what I mean? Because other than that, I'm gonna be changing thread three and four times. And you don't want that. That's a waste of your time. Alright, so that's what I mean by that. So I had to go back and reprogram this design so it can stitch the green part, then all the red part, and then I got the black part stitching out last. All right, make sense to you guys? And you wanna stitch it out, program it in an order to stitch it out in a way to make sense. Now you see it's doing a foot part in a way to make sense. So it's going from the arm, it went down to the leg, now it's going to the foot. And after this, is, I programmed it to go to the other foot, then up the leg, then to the other arm. You guys will see. And I program that in the uh, in the software so it can stitch in a way that makes sense. You can even go as far as to program them, program it in a way where it goes in. It starts the design in one place, like right now. See, I could I should have programmed it in a way where it starts at the tip of the foot and ends at the toe. Now it's going to stop at the toe and go all the way across to the other foot, which doesn't make any sense. Watch. See, see what I mean? I should not have programmed it like that. So now I got a little cut I got to make from the ankle to the other ankle when it should have been just at the shortest point, which is the heel to the other heel, you know? But hey, we're all learning together. I'm, even though people are paying me to do this stuff and I'm pretty good, I'm, I, even though I'm, I'm new at this, I'm still pretty good at it and I'm learning too. And I'm not a, too ashamed to admit, you know, that I'm still learning, I'm still new at this. So that's the only way you can get better and that's the only way you can give instructions is if we learn together, guys. So um, thank you for watching the videos and thank you for allowing me, a dub, dub nation, to teach you some of the things that I've learned and some of my skills. Going up the leg now and after it does this leg, it's gonna go up to the arm and I think it's gonna do a long cut. Oh yeah, it's gonna go up the leg right here. And it's gonna jump from there to the other arm, to the other glove. And that's how we're doing it right there, boom, arm. And that's how I programmed it. And the software. Boom. See what I mean? Making sense to you guys now? You underdig what I'm trying to put down? So this right here we call the money man. And right now, I'm gonna let that stitch out. Cause I don't wanna interrupt that. Now, I should have went from the closest part of the body in the arm to the lowest part, then right to the hand, but now it's gonna make a cut. It's gonna make a jump from here all the way over to the hand, which is stupid. So I'm gonna reprogram that and send them a new file. So let me stop this right now. I'm gonna do these little trims right here, which I could do at the end. You could do at the end, but I'm just gonna do it right now so you guys can see what's going on, you know? And then this stitch right here, go ahead and cut this off. 
All right, and then continue. Oh, and the, the one at the foot that we did. You guys can see how clean that's coming out so far. So far, so grand. And I'm excited that uh, this is the first time I'm stitching this whole entire thing out. And it's actually coming out looking pretty good. So that shows you guys the level of skill that we have here at A-Dub Productions. And we've just started digitizing logos. Imagine how grand and how good we're gonna get within the next couple months, next couple clients I get, guys. So hit me up if you want your logo digitized. Charge you a nice fair price um, for the work that's involved because it's not, I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy digitizing this stuff, guys. Every single thing you see here, I had to actually hand draw out with the computer. So it's not like you just put your design in, click two buttons, and the computer does it for you. Nope, it's not like that at all. You have to trace the entire thing yourself if, if you want it done right. Now, I think some guys, and that might be the problem, some guys are letting a software do it for them. And that right there, I think, is a problem that, um, other digitizers might have had. Just changed the thread off camera, by the way. But yeah, that might be the problem that um, other digitizers may have had. But um, like I said, sometimes you get what you pay for. And you see what I'm doing. I, I not only um, digitize your design for you, but I also make sure I make a copy, make sure I actually stitch it out myself so that, um, it comes so that I know it comes out right. So when I send you a design, I know it's gonna stitch out right and it's gonna be exactly what you ordered, exactly what you paid me for, you know what I mean? Uh, and yeah, work with me guys, because uh, I'm like I said, I'm not professional. I'm doing this by myself and I've gotten a few, um, quite a few clients and you know, I, I, I think I have a pretty fast turnaround given the circumstances that I'm new. But um, you know, just work with me and give me a couple days to work on your designs and I can uh, send you over the file and you can stitch it out and on your brother SE600 and, or on, you know, put them on shirts, put them on patches and start selling your stuff for yourself and making some money for yourself, guys. So yeah, I'm digitizing your designs now, guys. That is good. I didn't even know I was gonna be doing this stuff, but y'all started hitting me up. So hey, I guess that's what I'm gonna be doing now um, is another side income. This is not passive income, this is labor intensive. So, you know, it wouldn't, it's not my ideal thing. That's, that's what I mean to say, it's not my ideal thing because I like to do things where I can do it once and I can continue to get paid over time for that same thing. But this right here is definitely not one of those things that works like that. You definitely have to do this over and over and over again in order to get paid. But hey, you never know, maybe I'll just keep on showing you guys the other people's designs and I can get paid that way when I do it. I'm trying to focus here guys. So uh, right here, we are pretty much almost done. We got one more part to stitch out. I'm gonna change to the black needle, which the black thread rather. All right guys, we got our black thread in. So we're going to start um, doing the whole outline. It says this part, which is the longest part of design should take 14 minutes, all right? And this is the part where you guys know if somebody knows what they're doing or not because I, I stitched this out in a way that um, makes sense once again in an order that makes sense you know so uh, we'll see how it comes out it's going around all different parts I might have to stop a few times quite a few times to do some trims and stuff like that because there's gonna be quite a few jump stitches because I have this part right here even though I made it do it in a way that makes sense. I didn't actually fine tune it, which I should have. But um, like I said, for my client, I just want to do it to show him that, yeah, it does work. You know, and it is gonna come out good. And I'm confident enough to do that. See how that was a jump stitch right there? Yeah. So it's gonna do another jump stitch. Another jump stitch right there. I'm scared to stop the thing because I don't know what I'm cutting, but it's okay. 
that's gonna jump to the hand part right here. And this is my chance to stop it and cut. All right, boom, I'm gonna stop it, cut that right there. And that's basically all I need to cut. I can clean up the rest later. This part right here, you don't want to run out of um, bobbin thread in. Sheesh, that was rough right there. That jump, now it's gonna jump to the bottom part. No, I'll jump to the other arm actually. I'm gonna jump to the leg. Let me stop that real fast. And cut this. As you guys can see, it's just doing outlines right now. Just doing outlines. I'm gonna cut this right here because I don't like the way it looks. I don't like looking at it. I like it clean. You guys talking about me? <laughs> All right, I got a few parts to cut up in here. Continue. Another jumper right there. Matter of fact, let me stop that real fast and cut that jumper because that's once again is annoying me. Quite a few of them. All right. Let me let it go. It is doing a little bit of jerking, which means this can be fine tuned just a little bit. But overall, I'd say it's looking pretty good, guys. A little bit of jerking. I could definitely I'm gonna have to trim that right there. And that's gonna go around the bag, I think. Yep. Stitch around the bag. Double stitch around the bag. Now it's gonna do some fine tunes around the hand. But before duck goes around the hand, I actually wanna, which I can't. Oh, it's going around the whole bag. I didn't know I did that around the bag. A nice dark stitch around the bag. Which right now, when it gets down a little bit, I'm gonna stop it and do a little trimming on the hand. You guys can't see this, but I might edit this part out and trim around the hand a little bit. Because there's a jump stitch back here that I don't want to get caught in the other part that it's about to stitch out. So uh, Brooklyn Blood, this is what you gotta do, man. There's a green one and there's a black one. You're gonna wanna trim that before you let it do the rest. All right. And I told him this was gonna involve a lot of, uh, a lot of cutting some um, threads. So he knows already. So let's uh, start this back up. How you guys think this thing is looking, man? How you guys think this thing is looking? I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's looking pretty darn good. All right. Now it's gonna go inside the hand. And do some details around the hand and stuff, I think. <coughs> no, it's actually doing the money sign. I'm going to stop it so I can clip that. Like I said, quite a few cuts need to be made on this design. The more intricate it gets, the more jump stitches you're going to have to cut. I believe there should be, in the comment section down below, for anybody who's using PE Design 10, let me know if there's a way in the software that you can make the machine stop and do those cuts for you so you can like start over, you know what I mean? I think there's gotta be a way to do that, but I'll let you guys know in future videos. Keep watching, stay tuned.
Okay guys, so this is what we were going for and this is what we got guys. Uh, you be the judge, let me know if it stitched out good or not. Let's get some close ups in here. You can see the detail, the guy with the money in his hand. Uh, I think it pretty, like this stuff is really difficult to stitch out guys. Other embroiderers can tell you how difficult it is in the comment section down below. Let me know, are we still amateur status or are we professional? I think um, like right around here could be cleaned up just a little bit to be honest with you. Could be cleaned up just a little bit but I think we did a good job still. And I see a stitch right here right by the money bag that I forgot to clip. It goes from like right there in the rim down to the thumb area that needs to be clipped but that's not a stitching error that's just something i forgot to clip and other than that i cleaned this up pretty good down to the feet you see the feet stitched out very good i see one that i forgot to clip right there like from the um ankle part to the toe the left one i forgot to clip that but um other than that man i think it stitched out pretty good this is exactly the design that the client wanted so shots out to uh um the client that uh, requested this i appreciate your business very much looking forward to doing business with you again and guys once again this is your boy a dub if you haven't purchased your brother se600 as of yet use the link down in the description below and purchase yours today don't forget to use my link to get yours to help support the channel guys it's your boy king Alan alexander on all social medias and i am out look what we did <laughs> bomb turn up that crank it up why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby